Have you ever felt embarrassed because your dog just wouldn't stop sniffing someone's private area right in the middle of a crowd? It sounds awkward, but behind that behavior lies a fascinating biological mechanism that could actually save a human life. In this video, I'll share real stories that might send chills down your spine, including how one dog detected cancer simply by sniffing its owner. And if you've ever seen a dog carrying around your socks or shoes, scratching the ground after pooping, or obsessively sniffing just one person in a group, this video will help you understand all those behaviors that might seem strange at first. If this is the kind of content you're interested in, make sure to subscribe so you won't miss more fascinating stories about dog behavior. Stay with me until the end to learn how to handle this sensitive behavior in a scientific and gentle way, while protecting the emotional bond between you and your beloved dog. It may be hard to believe, but that awkward moment might actually be the key to understanding a deeper, silent world of canine communication. Dogs don't sniff just for fun. They are accessing a rich library of information that goes far beyond human imagination. While we humans have about 5 million scent receptors, a dog's nose contains over 300 million. That turns them into powerful scent detectives who don't just recognize smells, but also identify, remember, understand, and sometimes even sense danger. That's why when a dog sniffs someone's groin, armpits, or inner thighs, it isn't being rude it's performing an incredibly accurate scan of information. These areas are where apocrine glands are most active, releasing sweat full of personal chemical signals called pheromones. To a dog, pheromones act like a biological ID card. They reveal who you are, your gender, your emotional state, and even your health condition. All of that is encoded in your scent. So don't be surprised if your dog suddenly gets very close to a new guest, especially someone who's feeling stressed, tired, or unwell. That behavior isn't strange at all. It's just a bit impolite from a human point of view. But for dogs, it's their way of saying, hello, I'm getting to know you. There's another behavior that often worries dog owners. When a dog constantly licks its own private parts, Occasionally, licking for hygiene is completely normal. However, if your dog does it excessively, especially while whining, appearing restless, or licking to the point of causing redness, it could be a warning sign. Infections, skin irritation, or even urinary tract issues can cause discomfort or itching in that area. In such cases, a vet checkup is necessary because the longer it goes untreated, the more stressed your dog will become, and the more expensive the treatment could be for you. In the canine world, not all smells are exciting. Only the really intense ones drive them wild. That's why you'll sometimes see your dog rolling in poop, animal carcasses, or anything else. The stinkier, the better. As hard as it is to accept, from a survival standpoint, this is actually a very clever behavior. Dogs evolved from predators, and to avoid being detected, they had to mask their own scent by borrowing the smell of their environment. Rolling in disgusting things is an ancient camouflage tactic that still exists today. It doesn't mean your dog is dirty or mentally unwell. It's a deeply rooted biological instinct that has never gone away. And if you've ever felt awkward when your dog sniffs a guest's rear or the back of their pants, think again. It's not mischief. In a dog's world, the rear of the body is a hub of information because that's where the anal glands release identifying pheromones. Sniffing from behind is the canine equivalent of a handshake. When dogs do this to strangers, they're trying to figure out who the person is, where they come from, and whether they're safe. If the dog picks up a scent that feels calm and consistent, it will relax and become friendly. But if the dog growls or avoids the person, it might be because the pheromones are signaling stress or fear. And dogs are far more sensitive to that than we realize. 
And just when you think your dog's weird behavior has peaked, you catch them doing something else, like your favorite sock mysteriously vanishing, only to be found later under the bed, right next to your missing underwear. It may seem like naughty behavior, but the truth is far more heartwarming. Your dog isn't stealing out of mischief, but out of love. Items like shoes, socks, and underwear carry strong traces of your scent, especially from sweat, which contains a high concentration of your unique pheromones. When your dog takes these items, it's their way of holding on to a part of you, especially when you're away for long hours, at work, or if you've recently been less attentive to them. For your dog, lying next to your old shirt might feel just as comforting as a child hugging their mother's pillow. However, sniffing behavior does not always occur evenly with everyone. In some special cases, a dog will approach only one specific person in the group. It ignores everyone else, shows no interest in others, and focuses solely on that individual, especially on sensitive areas like the groin, buttocks, or hands. This once made a friend of mine feel extremely awkward and embarrassed. But after closer observation, it turned out that the person was going through a lot of psychological pressure, ongoing anxiety, and had been sleep-deprived for weeks. Dogs do not just detect pheromones. They can also sense stress hormones like cortisol. From the dog's perspective, that person was sending out very clear signals and the dog responded with a mix of curiosity and concern. What is fascinating is that dogs do not need you to show any visible symptoms. They can sense internal changes in your body simply through your scent. Thanks to this remarkable ability, some dogs have amazed the world. There have been cases where a dog suddenly became fixated on one person, sniffing the same spot repeatedly, usually the chest, groin, or neck with such persistence that it led the person to get checked, only to discover early-stage cancer. This is not just a story. I once met a 70-year-old woman whose dog had always been well-behaved and had never shown strange sniffing habits. But over just a few weeks, it started sticking unusually close to her, especially when she changed clothes or got ready for bed. It would come near, sniff her groin, and lower abdomen, and refused to leave. At first, she thought it was just odd behavior, but the dog's insistence eventually convinced her to see a doctor. That was when she was diagnosed with early-stage breast cancer and was able to get timely surgery. The dog went back to its normal behavior, as if nothing had happened. But everyone in the family knew that it had saved her with its extraordinary nose. There is something not many people realize. Dogs are not only able to detect illness, they can also sense the end of life. When the human body enters its final stage, even before anyone notices or says anything, it begins to produce a specific compound called cadaverine. This is an amino acid with an extremely distinct odor that dogs can detect from far away. That is why many dogs behave strangely around people who are becoming weaker. They may cling to them, sniff the groin or mouth area repeatedly and insistently. It is not out of curiosity. It is a quiet farewell. Some dogs lie silently beside their owner's bed, never leaving their side, and only walk away once the person has passed. Even though science has yet to fully explain this phenomenon, Countless personal experiences have shown us one truth. Dogs are not just pets. They are silent companions who can sense both life and death through every breath and every scent. Now you can see more clearly that behaviors like sniffing private areas, stealing underwear, or rolling in smelly things aren't signs of a weird dog. They are simply how your dog uses its incredible nose to understand the world and us humans. Every action has a reason, an emotion, and sometimes a quiet warning we shouldn't ignore. If you've experienced something similar with your own dog, feel free to share your story in the comments. I'd love to hear about your experiences 
And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe so you won't miss more insightful and practical content about dog behavior. See you in the next video.